NTP versus PTP. Let's explore the differences between NTP and PTP. If you've ever wondered why we need different time synchronization protocols, this video is for you. AV Network Guy here. NTP stands for a Network Time Protocol. It's a protocol that allows computers to synchronize their clocks over the network. NTP is a widely used protocol for time synchronization and it's been around since the 1980s. PTP, on the other hand, stands for Precision Time Protocol. As the name suggests, it's a more precise protocol for time synchronization. PTP was developed in the early 2000s and it's designed to be used in industrial control systems and other applications that require very precise timing. Think of a factory, for example. Machines on the production line need to work in perfect synchronization with each other, and even a tiny delay can cause problems. That's where PTP comes in. NTP is a good choice for applications that don't require extreme precision. It's widely used on the internet and in corporate networks. It's accurate to within a few milliseconds. NTP works by adjusting the system clock based on the time received from a reference clock. PTP, on the other hand, is accurate to within a few microseconds. It works by sending timing packets between devices on the network, and each device adjusts its clock based on the timestamps on those packets. So why do we need both NTP and PTP? Well, it's all about choosing the right tool for the job. NTP is great for applications where a few milliseconds of accuracy is good enough while PTP is designed for applications where every microsecond counts. Before we go, we should mention one important use case where PTP is the preferred protocol. Network multicast for video. When video is streamed over a network to multiple devices, it's important that all devices receive the same video frames at the same time. NTP can't guarantee this level of precision, but PTP can. By using PTP, each device in the multicast network can synchronize its clock to within microseconds of each other, ensuring that all devices receive the same video frames at the same time, resulting in a smooth and seamless video experience for viewers. So, if you're ever involved in setting up a multicast video network, it's important to consider the requirements of your applications and choose the right time synchronization protocol accordingly. And that's a wrap about NTP and PTP. Hope you found it informative and interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Pro AV videos like this. Thanks for watching.